averaging over 500 yards a game. Quarterbacks athletic and run. Uh, they got big receivers. Tailbacks run hard. Uh, so they're uh, they're going to be a challenge for us. They're they're going to test everything we have. It look like the offense. Yeah, it's the same, it's the same stuff. He's he's been uh, in the air raid family for a long time. He was under Cliff and, and all those guys at Texas Tech as a GA. So he uh, he does a really nice job. What are some of the points of emphasis to the team when you're facing a quarterback that can run like he can? Keep him in the pocket. That, that's the main goal. And so that's the uh, that's the key for us is to be able to contain him in our pass rush. Uh, not get out of our lanes, don't lose contain, and, and that's how they ended up beating Houston. Houston couldn't contain him, and, and he got out on him a few times. The main challenge with an air raid offense, what's the main challenge a defense has? Uh, the challenge that the defense has? Yeah. Uh, everything. I mean, they're, <laughs> you know, they have good players. Uh, their quarterback distributes the ball very well. Uh, again, their run game's good. They use a lot of up-tempo to try to get you on your heels, so we have to do a great job and – and be able to get lined up and not blow calls and coverages. And, you know, we can't just stay simple and stay in the same call the whole night because if they do, they'll pick us apart. Do you get the sense the guys are, are excited to face a challenge like this? Because you guys got a great defense. A lot of people think your defense is great. Are they looking forward to this challenge? Yeah, they're looking forward because it's the next opportunity and, and we have a quality opponent. Again, there's a team averaging over 50 points a game. 500 yards a game, so uh, you know our guys are up for it. And we had a, the best Tuesday practice since I've been here. We had today. Why do you think, why do you think that was, Coach? Why do you think? Uh, I, I just think that obviously watching their film, it, it got our attention. And uh, you know, again, a great opponent at night at home. You know, going to be a great atmosphere. Looking forward to it. How unusual is it? Even though it we went to double overtime, 103 plays. Yeah, like, it was actually it was like 109. Your- 109. 109 plays. What would be your target? Like, what do you normally try to hold teams? <laughs> no, it, it depends. Yeah. With these teams, they, they're going to go as fast as they can and run a lot of plays. So, you know, I was a defense coordinator in Big 12 for five years, so it was every week was that. Uh, you know, and Houston did a heck of a job. They held them to uh, 20 points at the end of regulation with 100 plays. Mm-hmm. So, you know, you talk points per play, that's pretty good. And uh, – you know, we have to do the same thing. We have to try to limit the big plays and get them off the field. We got to be really good on third down. That's does our it, goal. Does it help that you guys are, 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 are a deep team, or deep defense too? Yeah, it, it helps a lot this week. We're gonna have to play a lot of guys. Uh, you know, we're we're looking anywhere from 22 to 25 guys are gonna have to play and rotate them in and out. When you see that they had three interceptions, they gave up five sacks, four to one player. You know, anything that you can glean from that? that... Yeah. You know, hopefully they won't throw the ball so dang quick. That's, that's what we've been. That's been our issue. Everybody's getting rid of the ball so fast against us right now. And you know, if they're if that's in their game plan and they're not going to hold the ball, then you know, obviously we're going to defend it and you know try to break down on the ball, make tackles, and keep them behind the sticks. That's our goal.